On the 6th of July, 1734, when off the south coast of Greenland, a sea monster appeared to us, whose head, when raised, was on a level with our main top. Its snout was long and sharp, and it blew water almost like a whale. It has large, broad paws. Its body was covered with scales. Its skin was rough and uneven. In other respects, it was as a serpent. And when it dived, its tail, which was raised in the air, appeared to be a whole ship's length from its body. Hans Eegd, Norwegian missionary, later Bishop of Greenland. The open ocean can be a terrifying place. Miles from shore on storm-tossed seas, with nothing but water in all directions, including straight down. A sailor or fisherman cannot help but wonder what lurks in the depths. When the oceans were still unexplored, these fears often took the form of imaginary monsters. When European explorers like Christopher Columbus set out on their voyages of discovery in the 1400s and 1500s, they were literally sailing into uncharted waters. The meticulous drawings of sea monsters in European natural history books from the 1500s and 1600s reveal the overlap between science and the legend at that time. But where do these sea serpents come from? Don't believe your eyes. Many sincere sea serpent sightings were later debunked as cases of mistaken identity. For instance, several sea monster carcasses turned out to be partially decayed basking sharks, an immense fish that grows to nine meters, 30 feet. It's easy to mistake a sea serpent. One way of seeing a sea serpent is by mistaking one for a group of breaching whales. And what about dolphins? In 1872, Captain A. Hassel reported seeing an immense serpent with four fins on its back, about 200 feet from his ship near Galveston, Texas. Can you imagine how a line of dolphins, Delphinus delphis, might be mistaken for a single giant serpent? All mythic creatures are mysterious. No one really knows where these stories come from, but in many cases, the ultimate answer for questions about myths is, we will never know for certain. Thank you.